everyone. Welcome to Channel 781 News. As you may know, we're taking the week off this week from our normal news show. Uh, but we just want to do a special segment to introduce you to a new member of our team, Eric Colosa Kenyon. Hi, Eric. Hello. It's a pleasure and to be here. Thank you. And I'm going to turn it over to Chris to give you a little bit more background on uh, what Eric will be doing for our show. Go ahead, Chris. So hello everyone, I'm very excited uh, about this video um, and this relationship with Eric that we're building. Um, so this whole segment is going to require um, some background um, and also a little bit of musing on my part on personal responsibility. Um, so the story starts on June 27th uh, when I met Eric for the first time. Uh, the, that week there had been a lot of emotional turmoil. Um, over the striking down of Roe v. Wade, which is something that we've covered extensively on this show. Um, I was biking over to Cafe on the Common um, when I passed someone on the corner of Maine and Moody holding a sign uh, with an American flag. And I figured it had something to do with Roe, um, but I, I figured it could go either way, especially uh, holding an American flag. Um, I did get a glimpse of the person as I was going past uh, Main Street and saw that it was very pro-Roe. And I was very happy to see that. Um, I uh, took a picture. But while I was at the cafe, um, I started thinking that maybe there's a chance for collaboration there. Um, so we at Channel 71 News are constantly considering that. Uh, we are constantly looking for new ideas for new projects in Waltham, and especially new people to collaborate with. The only problem is that we found is that it's very hard to find anyone that wants to do this kind of stuff. So I've been a little more brash about uh, making me ask of people to participate. But Eric was the first stranger I ever did it to. Um, and, it, and it's worked out. Um, I went out and I thanked him uh, for what he was doing. And I loosely explained that I do community organizing work in Waltham and that I would love to chat with him about future projects. That led to some meetings uh, with the Channel 71 team. And uh, we all agreed that it, uh, Eric would be great for the position of doing something that we wanted to do for a while, which was on the ground reporting in Waltham. Um, James, Josh, and I are reluctant to do that kind of work. Um, I can't speak for them, but uh, truth be told, I'm a huge introvert. Uh, I really don't enjoy new situations. I don't enjoy crowds, and I don't enjoy being put on the spot. Um, I do all the things I do out of a huge sense of responsibility to make the world a better place. Uh, I truly believe that we are in the end stages of the American empire, and also I'm pretty sure that we're not going to get our shit together to mitigate climate change. And so as uh, Gandalf eloquently put it, uh, all we have to decide is what to do with the time given to us. And so this is what I wanna do with my team. Um, and it reminds me of a conversation I had with my partner Amanda last week. Um, I was going out canvassing for uh, Heather May and she asked if she knew any of the people I was going with. And I said, oh, it's the same two dozen people that figured out that you have to actually do things to make the world better. Uh, and I don't, I like, I don't know when it happened to me, but something just along the years just clicked that you have to actually do things and not just have the right political opinions mm -hmm. to like make the world a better place. Uh, you can't just have the right thoughts and you know, say the right words. And at this point in my life, the only people I want to work with right now are the people with the audacity to participate. And so that is who I'm going to work with. Um, and so I'm really happy uh, that that's what led us to Eric. And uh, we had a great time uh, going up Maine and Moody. Uh, but I'm going to let uh, Josh talk a little bit about that and talk with Eric a little bit because uh, Josh was behind the camera for this and also knows a lot more about videography uh, than I do. OK. And uh, Eric, actually, before I do that, I want to ask you, how long have you been in? When did you move to Waltham? How long ago? And where were you coming from? Yeah. Um, okay. Been in Waltham for a bit over a year now, so still pretty, uh, pretty fresh. Moved from San Carlos, California. Uh, my partner has a residency, and so here we are in Massachusetts. It's good to be back. So our first experiment with a uh, person on the street interviews, we went out on Moody Street. It was 95 degrees. Um, despite that, there were a lot of people who were in a good mood and wanted to talk about why they enjoyed Moody Street. So how did you think it went, Eric? People really seemed to be doing pretty well. 
Uh, it's a nice place. Good moods, shops and restaurants. I think it went swimmingly. Great. So for our first one, and you know, we hope to uh, do these person in the street interviews on some hard hitting questions in the future. But our first one that we have for you is mostly about people being happy and grateful for uh, what's going on on Moody Street. So uh, without uh, further delay, let's go ahead and watch the clip. This is a disgusting hot day and there's still hundreds of people out here walking around having fun. The line for uh, Lizzie's ice cream at night ends up being like way down the street, you know, 30, 40 people deep because this is the place to go. My daughter lives here. That's my favorite thing so far. And I love Moody Street. This is really cool. Yeah, this is uh, having this uh, blocked off like this and the restaurants and the vibe and, and the uh, a very eclectic group of people. It's, uh, it's awesome, very international. Uh, the people are really nice, really friendly. Uh, the park's cool. Uh, they got really good smoothies at the 7-Eleven here. <laughs> the Waltham is pretty cool because I love how everyone can just walk around. It's not something you see. So I'm from Peabody and just seeing people being able to walk up and down the street, it makes it seem like it's a good walking path. So anyone who moves here and loves to walk, it's straight up good, you know? I'm pretty much born and raised here in Waltham. Yeah. Great thing about Waltham is you get like the best of everything. Um, you get the suburban, like the town life, city life at the same time. Um, good thing about us compared to other neighboring cities is that we have a lot of diversity. So you get a good mixture of everything here. We've created a vacation destination. We've created a spot for people to come, bring their dates for dinner, you know, come play video games, have ice cream, check out these antique shops. Um, you know, there's also all, all kinds of other good shopping you can do down here. Uh, we are absolutely decimating what like the Natick Mall has out here. This atmosphere feels welcoming. It's local businesses, local people that are, um, you know, sharing their traits, their arts with people down here. You know, this needs to be something that everyone in Massachusetts and New England knows about. I want people to be like, oh, I want to go visit Massachusetts to go see Faneuil Hall, you know, Moody Street and Waltham. To bring more tourism, I, I think more like that nightlife on Moody Street. It's on a great path. Like if we could just add more, that'd be literally, that'll help the city out more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Extend the curfew, if you would. Like, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Right. 